why is my tree not on? Why is my tree not on? There she is. Okay, here's the deal. So, you guys will see this makeup look before you see this vlog. There will be a link to watch how this came together. But um, I needed to do a makeup video because I know a lot of people are subscribed to my channel for makeup stuff and I've just been like putting out vlogs. So I wanted to, you know, get back to my roots. Get back to my roots, Rose. <laughs> look at you. You don't look very happy. You look upset. Are you all right? Anyways, I have a makeup video that I need to edit. I need to get Santa. Santa, baby. Because you guys are pressing me for old Saint Nick. But right now, I don't know what it is. I am craving, and no, I'm not pregnant. I am craving a freaking Diet Coke from McDonald's. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hop in my car and get a freaking diet coat from McDonald's. I don't know why I'm craving it so bad. Like, why am I craving that? Like, I should be craving coffee, but for some reason I just want those bubbles. It's very rare, but every once in a while, I just want a diet coke. When I was in high school, I used to come home from school every day and have a diet coke out of a can. I either like it out of a can or from McDonald's fountain. Also, side note, I wanna just make a public apology for this because I literally am tore up about it. I have been linking this coat in my videos and I've been linking the wrong coat. I've been linking this coat because all you guys keep asking me about it and I linked the wrong one. I bought this in store so I didn't know exactly like what exact product it was and I didn't have like the item number or whatever. So mine has a detachable hood, the one online does not. So I guess Old Navy is not making this coat anymore. I could not find it on the website anywhere. So I'm going to link another coat that looks just like this with a detachable hood and I just wanted to say I'm so sorry because I literally feel terrible about this. Like I feel like a fraud and a failure. So I will try to find a coat that looks just like this that's not a bajillion dollars and link it for you guys because Old Navy, I don't know why they did this to me. They were like trying to make me look bad, I think. Anyways, I'm getting my bite meal all warmed up in the microwave and then I'm gonna go to McDonald's because life is about balance. Hi, may I help you? Hi, can I just get a medium Diet Coke? Can I be off? Yep. Can I have one nice quick window? Okay, thank you. I would love to get a 10 piece and a small fry with a chocolate milkshake as well. But I'm just gonna stick with the Diet Coke. Just do half Coca-Cola, half Diet Coke, because I'm trying to watch my figure. I'm trying to lose some of the weight. <laughs> if you guys know what that's from, then I will instantly be your best friend, I promise. <laughs> and if you don't, I suggest you find out and you figure out what that's from. I can't see, it's so sunny. Why are you blocking me from going in the turning lane, you jerk? Amazing. Terrific. Oh, shoot. I literally walk around the store like a hundred times because I keep forgetting things and I have to go back. But you know what? That's good exercise. So much makeup on for the grocery store. People who work here I think, what is wrong with this girl? What is she doing? Okay, so tonight's segment of Chef Stuff, I'm gonna be doing a meatloaf. And I feel like the word meatloaf just sounds like not good. Like meatloaf just sounds like wicked gross. But I don't know, I love meatloaf. I don't know why. I think my mom made it quite a bit when I was a kid and um, it's basically like a giant meatball and I love meatballs so um, that's what I'm going to be making today. It's actually pretty healthy, very easy to do and I'll show you guys how I do it but here are all the ingredients. I will do my best to put the recipe in the description box. So, so first what I do is I take an egg and smash it all over my countertop because I'm trying to be way too cool. So just take an egg, lightly beat it, just kind of get the yolk broken up. Then I put in the ground beef. I do about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce or 
Worcestershire. I don't know how you say it where you live, but that's how I say it. I say Worcestershire. I add about a tablespoon of minced garlic. You can use garlic powder if you like garlic powder instead. And then I'm taking about a tablespoon of onion powder just because, I don't know, Tommy doesn't really like onions visible onions in his food so we just put them in there so he can't see them then i put in about a third a cup of ketchup then instead of breadcrumbs i just use old-fashioned oats so just old-fashioned oatmeal so then i have chopped up a bunch of baby spinach just like a few handfuls and that way I don't have to make a vegetable on the side. I can just put it right in there and you don't even like really taste it. So then I add about a half a teaspoon of salt and then just crack some black pepper in there. And then I just mix it up with my hands. And you don't wanna like over mix it, but just mix it enough to where everything looks like it's like evenly smush together and if it ever seems like it's too wet then you can just add in some more oatmeal or if you're using breadcrumbs use breadcrumbs then what i like to do is i like to actually make them into like little meatloaf muffins because i love like the crusty like browned edges of the meatloaf so that's why i put it in there so i just take a spoon and you know just put it on in each little tin so now I'm just putting a glaze on the top and basically what it is is just a quarter cup of ketchup, a few splashes of Worcestershire sauce, and then a probably like a tablespoon of maple syrup. And you can use brown sugar, sugar, whatever. So it's not like the prettiest looking dish that there ever was, but it actually is really good and relatively healthy. So this is gonna go in the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes. And then after 25 minutes is up, I bump it up to 400 degrees and then I cook it for another 10, 15 minutes just so the top gets nice and you know caramelized. So that's pretty much it. So then the side for that, um, I tried these out a few weeks ago and they're actually not bad. So this is the Oprah mashed potatoes mixed with cauliflower so it's pretty good so it's like mashed potatoes but with less carbs but not like straight up cauliflower sometimes i get the um like green giant it's like frozen cauliflower mashed already made but um i've been getting this instead this has like a little bit more carbs in it obviously because there's real potatoes in there but it's actually pretty good the only thing i would say is a little tiny bit salty for me but I mean, whatever. I've tried making mashed cauliflower before and I feel like it's not worth all the effort. Like I don't like love it so much, the homemade version. So um, the Oprah, that's good. That's gonna be good enough. That's what it looks like when it's all done. Does you wanna go find Santa? We go find Santa and his legs. Last year during our Christmas party, Daz chewed the wires for Santa, so my dad had to like rewire it during the party. But luckily, he's good to go if we could just find him. So Santa has been sitting in my decor room, aka like the utility room. He's been sitting on the, uh, I don't even know what that is, a water heater? I don't even know what that is. But um, yeah. I don't know where his legs are. I'm gonna remove him and bring him upstairs though. Come on, oh my God. Oh wow, Santa, you're getting a little bit too close for comfort. Uh, we just knock something over. Santa, keep your arms and legs inside the vehicle. Ow! I'm trying to squeeze me and Santa in between this pillar. Whew, all right, Santa. Get off of me, dude. His pants are dangling, but he has no legs. Well, how creepy is this, though? Just staring into my soul. Santa, I'm gonna set you on the dining room table for the time being. I mean, look at this. No legs. This is the amputeed Santa. How am I supposed to find Santa's legs? See, I put away like the rest of the seasonal decor, like the fall stuff is in here. There's like some random spring stuff in here, more fall stuff. 
There's Rudolph, but as you can see, he's missing a leg. Everybody freaking is amputeed this year. <laughs> what gives? Oh, and I have these too. Where can I put those? Oh my goodness. Excuse you. <laughs> uh, wait, I see a boot. I see a boot, folks. Here's my wig from when I was Rose from Titanic for Halloween, but I think Ooh, this is from this is an ugly sweater that I wore to a party back in 2012 is your grandma wearing this because mine definitely used to wear this got him So these are his legs these plastic tubes <laughs> Freaking pearl, my freaking finger, my finger. <sighs> All right, Santa is done. He's ready. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Uh-oh. <laughs>